Hey everybody, Shama32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the 10th episode season finale of Turn Washington Spies. This is called The Battle of Satorki. I am terrified about what's going to happen because it's just been like this whole series, this whole season has been like anxiety filled, it's, but it's been ramping up and ramping up. And now I'm really scared because the stakes were set high last time. Like we know Ben and Caleb are on their way, even though they're going against Washington's orders of being the decoys for something. And say, look, basically being like, hey, we've fallen for your plan. We don't know if there's anything else going on so that the other arm can go around. But now that decoy's not going to be there. Oh dear, what's going to happen then? And is Washington going to be rightfully pissed? But Ben's... Ben's father and Caleb's uncle are all among the suspected that are about to be hung because of the wonderful, wonderful, ever so charming, completely innocent Simcoe. Slight sarcasm there. Like, he had no, he has no redeeming qualities. Great character, actress fantastic. But he's evil. Like I was saying about how everybody's basically like all grey and there's nobody completely innocent, stuff like that. They've all done some lies, at least, and things like that. Only completely innocent one is Baby Thomas. He's the only completely innocent one. Because he's just so adorable and sweet. But, um... Simcoe, completely black. In terms of good or bad type of thing. Because, like, I thought I said, called him like very, very, very dark gray. Because I don't know why I just called him very, very dark gray before, but he poisoned Hewlett's horse. That was horrible. I really wanted to reach through the screen and hug Hewlett because, my God, Burn Gorman's performance last episode and like how he was dazed for the rest of it and stuff like that. I really wanted to hug him. It's like, yeah, Hewlett's in charge of the garrison or whatever, the deployment that's there in Satorkit. And yeah, he did the thing with the uh, gravestones. But he does have a, quite a few redeeming qualities. He sees the benefit of being on the side of the people, except for the gravestone thing. But he had his reasons for that, which is still, I don't agree with. But anyway, he sees the side of being like with the people, he's a bit more, he's diplomatic. And stuff like that. And even if he wasn't like that, his fucking horse. He was heartbroken. I I really just wanted to hug him. Because like that horse didn't deserve that. But sadly, he did the best thing for it. Considering what Simcoe did to it, the horse had to be put down. Fucking hell, poor Hewlett. Literally, I'm tearing up just thinking about Burns performance in that scene. For the whole episode, he was phenomenal. And then Simcoe's just doing, framing everyone just to get what he fucking wants. Oh my god, I hate him. Like, I want him to get his comeuppance. I don't see it ever happening, though. Like, it wouldn't, be surpri it wouldn't surprise me if he's the type of character. Like, I don't know if he's one of the ones that are based on a real person, but I can just see him... See him being an antagonist for the whole series, if not surviving past the end of the series kind of thing. Do not tell me. I do not want to know. But I can see him surviving through the whole thing. Because sadly, those kind of people do fucking survive in those kind of situations. It sucks, but it does. it's true. But now we've got... Abe had to defend them. Or like... Not defend them, but like... Interrogate all the people because he had to take his dad's position because... Simcoe ha basically had it so his father would get shot, but he didn't think things all the way through, did he? He didn't know all the details because the bullet didn't fit in the gun of Ben's father, the one he was trying to frame. Which is just like that. But then I'd like to think that the look between Ben's father and Abe was like a look of Ben's father knowing what he's doing and he was playing along with things. I'd like to think that. But it was so subtle that I'm not sure if it's just me hoping it was there and it wasn't there at all. But I'm worried about... I'm worried about Ben's father or the uncle because the poor uncle... How the hell could he do anything? The poor man. 
can. I think they said he's got palsy. But he's he, he can't do anything, the poor guy. The poor guy. My God, if one of them... Oh, God. Like, if Ben's father dies after he's lost finding out his brother's dead. Like, I don't know if his mother's still alive or what. But that's like, oh my god, that will, the vengeance that Ben will swear <laughs> if Caleb's uncle dies. one I think one of the two are going to die. I just got a feeling that one of them is going to die. I don't know why, I've just got that horrible feeling. But it's going to be like, what the hell's going to happen? This is going to be so fucking stressful. I'm, like, I'm quite warm. I've got a, I've literally unplugged my mouse. I'm using my laptop mouse so that I can have my fan on because I'm so hot. But I'm not taking my fucking blanket off because I want to be able to hide. Like, I want to be able to hide behind it like this, you know? But I've got... I'm so glad I got my box of tissues because I'm probably going to cry. But, oh. Uh, and that... Oh, God, yes, I forgot. How could I forget? I literally only watched this Saturday night. Not Saturday night, Friday night, I think. Yeah. I was going to watch it last night. But I watched the season one finale of The Good Place and I didn't want to completely fry my brain twice. So I'm watching this Christmas Eve. That's how far ahead I am. So by the end of this episode, it will be Christmas. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> but um, yeah, Mary, I, I always doubt myself. I believe her name's Mary. Mary Woodhull. I think that's her name, but because I'm not 100% certain and I'm doubting myself. But um, poor Thomas... Poor little Thomas. Sweet little Thomas. How the fuck did he go to that um that floorboard? No, that floorboard. He's very clever. He's a very clever little boy. He's very cute. And he's walking around. I'm so happy. I'm so happy he's walking. He's adorable, that little boy. But um he found the book. Mary found the book of the codes. And oh shit. There is gonna be a lot of fucking trouble. It's like she knows. Abe's cheating. She knows that Abe has not been sleeping in his bed because it was still made from when she made it. And uh, Abe and Anna are... They could be a bit more fucking secretive. Come on. Like, I know they were engaged and in love and then, obviously, Abe blames himself for his brother's death. So he felt responsible and had to marry his brother's fiance, which was arranged anyway, so that wasn't fair anyway. Like, poor fucking Mary... Getting forced into one marriage, marrying the brother instead, and finding out the brother is still in love with somebody else. Like, she said she'd be okay with it if they weren't being so fucking obvious. And my God, anybody could have come down into that cellar, couldn't they? And they were like, I can't, we haven't got time, but I'm going to keep kissing you anyway. If you haven't got time, one, you shouldn't be doing it in the pub, such a public place anyway. Two, do your business. Fuck off. You don't want to get caught. You know? Like, how fucking obvious do they need to be? But then again, they both think Sela's dead and Sela's not. And he's doing so much better. He's got purpose. He's one of them now. And my God. Oh, fuck. Sela's going to be going with them, isn't he? So they're going to... Oh, that's going to be a spanner in the works if they see that Sela's alive. Because obviously I believe Anna loves Sela. So I'm getting a sore throat from talking so much. But um, I believe she loves Sela in some way. But she also still loves Abe. She never stopped loving Abe. She just believed he was off the market, which is understandable. He got married to somebody else. But Abe doesn't know he's lost fucking everything, including his wife's heart. But then again, she was so heartbroken when he died, or she thought he died. I don't know. There's, oh, my God. This episode is going to cause me so much fucking stress. I'm going to have to rearrange or like tilt my chair back because I'm getting pain in my shoulders, and I'm just going to be a bit more comfortable. Because I am gonna, I, I'm gonna be so fucking stressed this episode. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I am legitimately scared about what's gonna happen. But I'm excited. I am nervous, but I'm excited, and I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna wrap this bit up, so I can adjust my chair, be a bit more comfortable, and get started. Because my shoulders are fucking killing me, and I need to get started because my God, it's twenty five past eleven at night on Christmas Eve. Hey. Anyway, if you enjoyed. What the fuck? I'm I'm saying the wrong fucking thing now. That's I'm all over the place. It's nerves, it's tiredness, and it's pain. Let's start that again, shall we? If you enjoy this reaction, 
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Let's get going with the reaction in three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, God. We've already got fires up. Has the battle started? Okay, so. I'm so nervous. Okay, it's just the fire of the fireplace. Oh, God. Is Abe going to come back now? Be careful, love. I feel so sorry for her. Like she deserves to be happy, and that little boy is so adorable. I'm sorry, I always say it. He's so cute. I can't help myself. Seven one one. General Washington. Yeah, and they're just all of them are just going. They're all just going. And Abe, Brewster. Seven two five. See Brewster. She's gonna recognise that. But Abe's name's not gonna be in there, is it? Are they gonna have um Culper or Culpepper? Oh, guys, be careful. I'm terrified. Like, I don't want one of the guys to get captured. I'm going to get my uncle before they hang him. Nobody's getting hanged at midnight. We wait for the rest of the unit and we take them by surprise. He's got a us. point. You need all of them. Is Abe going to come in now? Oh, no. Or is it Baker? If it's Baker, fucking hide it. Oh, great. Now my chair's like, nope. I don't fucking know. I'm uncomfortable. I can't get comfy. I'm sorry. I thought you were attending to him. His wish was that I returned here. Oh, honey. What do you mean? I don't blame her. She's upset. The traitors here in Setucket hiding in secret, plotting to kill us. The men who shot your father. Now listen to me. Oh, fuck. If you whisper this like you did the gravestones, there will be a price to pay for both of us. Captain Simcoe shot my father. Hey. Okay. She actually showed a proper reaction to that. The petition that Talmadge and the others signed, the one that you prosecuted All the petition says is that they believe in liberty. Yeah. I took the case on with the aim to prove that. You lied. To everyone. Wait, didn't you just hear what he... She don't care. She's already been betrayed by you. I wouldn't do that. No, of course you wouldn't, because then you'd be the wife of a traitor. And you would be hanged for treason. <laughs> treason. Yes. Sorry, that was a bit loud. Is that truly how you see it? Yes, yep. that's the law. And is that what you believe? Huh? Tell me. Does she believe it, or is it... You, you don't think that I'm able? Well, I haven't had any proof since the winter. I assume you've been proving it elsewhere. It's another thing that you've been hiding. Hey, she's allowed to talk like that. I wouldn't want to force you. You might not believe in it. Oh, she's got a good point. I'm sorry, but... Oh, my God. Do you believe it now, love? Like, I think he cares for her, but it's not love in that way. It might be love at friendship. This is my house. Fair enough, poor Baker. Poor Baker, he's gonna come home, find them in his bed, but hey, be like, oh. At least they're together. He wants them together. I like Baker. He's like, okay, he's on the British side, but he is, he cares for them and he seems really sweet. Like he didn't, he felt disappointed in Caleb and I, get, I don't blame him. He likes them as a family and he's really sweet. Oh, God, that sun's a bit bright. Beautiful shot, though. What are you doing? Riding into town with you. We have to buy a seed for replanting, and I have a house to get back in order. We'll spend the whole day together, Thomas. In other words, you can't go off be with your lover. I don't blame her. She wants to keep an eye on him. I do not blame her. I don't blame her for making sure she's on that. I don't. I, I keep saying it. I don't blame her. Guys, you've got to be careful. Have they got Sela now? Where's Sela? Peace. All right, guys, be careful. It's William Blaine and his son Tom. Okay. Oh, they're coming in. Oh, fuck, they're going to get seen. Caleb, he's only a boy. And those are fishing rods, not muskets. Getting soft, are we? But they'll get word back. I hear some, um, sadly, somebody's got to do it. Otherwise, a lot more people are going to die. Hi, Ben. Run, Tom, run! Go and tell the Major! Stop him! He's getting away! Fire! Parsons! Yes, sir! Wait until they beach, then fall in. You take the North Hill, we'll take the flank. Fuck, they're gonna have pre-warning now. Shit! It was that easy. 
Oh, fuck, this is going to be an absolute mess. They're going to take down the sign. No need to alter the ship. I like it. Just change the first three letters. The first three letters? What are they going to call it instead? Oh, I like him. He's so sweet. I can't help it. Fuck, it's the boy. Oh, no. Ships and soldiers, hundreds of them, or 500 of them. Hey, listen to him. It's true. I saw Benjamin Talmadge all done up in blue and gold. Oh, they know that means something. Shit. Shit, they know. Fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's going to be... Oh, this is going to be horrible. Oh, no. What are they going to do? That's where the prisoners are, isn't it? Oh, don't... Cut them down. You sure? They're going to do it now. And I want Captain Talmadge to see his father swing from the gallows. It's an image I've had in my head for quite a while. Fuck! <laughs> oh, this is going to be such a fucking mess. What are you doing out of bed? I'm coming with you. No, no, no you're not in any state. You've already taken a wound in service to the crown. He's not in any fit state. I want to meet my enemy face to face. You must protect Whitehall. It's sure to be a target of this raid. Good point. I will try and hold them at the water. Give him a gun. He could protect the house. Be good to have somebody there, wouldn't it? Come on, Brewster. Help with you. Give him some help. But guys, how did he do anything? We were sentenced to a prison ship. And whose orders are we now to be hanged? Mine. So basically, he's going against everybody else's. To the garrison! Grab them! Fuck! I like it, the, 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 that, the, the colonials, right? I don't know, I, I forget which one's which, I'm sorry. But all oh, the poor kid. But they're trying to get the, all the, the um, villagers out of the way. They're trying to be good. Oh, Baker, oh, don't shoot Baker, please. They've taken the captives to the church. Shit. Search every door and get everyone inside the tavern. All right. And remind the men that no private property is to be destroyed. I love... Sela? Sela! And he's like, well, fuck a duck. Oh, fuck. I'm okay with that bit of private property being destroyed so it can be replaced properly. You know, them bloody backs are using the church as the stables? Well, they're using your old schoolhouse as a magazine. Two dozen barrels of powder. Oh, he wasn't lying. They've ripped out the gravestones. Fucking disgusting. Unholy oh, bastards. Ah, here comes their leader. Just wave. Smile and wave. Smuggle out the powder and any other military stores you can find. All right. Because otherwise, they will target that. I don't recall giving the orders to hang anyone. But, sir, don't you see this very raid confirms the treason of the accused? They obviously got Mate, word out shut the these fuck up. to come and rescue them. Hewlett, come on. He's disobeying you all the time. Executing prisoners, Captain. Not I like Hewlett. Honorably upon my command. Thank you, Hewlett. This I like him. Will be conducted in a civil manner. I like him. You secured the prisoners, but not the powder. Cover and two. Adjust your quadrant. Target the storehouse. Now! They're going to block the powder. Assistance is on its way, and I will not have the rebels absconding without... I powder. like that, showing them testing the wind. That's a nice touch. Fire. When ready. Fuck. Oh, Caleb, be careful. <laughs> oh, poor little boy. He's so adorable. You. But I do feel sorry for him, but I don't like him. Would you please shut that thing up? Oh, you shut the fuck up. It's a baby. May you offer. This is my tavern, De Young. Uh huh. I built it. I had no choice. They were going to take it anyway. You had no right to sell it. Take it up with Judge Woodall. Oh, I will. Trust me. I have plenty to settle with the judge. Well, shitballs. 
I'm gonna hurry up. Guys, run, 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 run. No, Caleb, no, 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 don't go back in, please. Run. Run. No. Caleb, run. That is a harrowing sight and a half. Reload. And hold fire until ordered. Sir. Yes? Okay. The magistrate is requesting access in the camp. What? Oh. What? Of course he wouldn't listen. He's bleeding again. You've seen my son. Is he in the town? Let's get you inside. He doesn't want to lose another child. I get that. Hewlett has us at range. We can't hope to hit him from here. I need you to put pressure on his flank. Well, we can move up the ridge to conceal our approach. That's even higher ground than his church. Okay. Our church. Let's take it back. Hmm? I like that. And he knew Sela needed that distraction. He needed to come out of there. The Major isn't firing on us. He's firing on you. Now, whatever you boys came here to prove, I think you've proved it. He needs to get him to come out of there to talk. All you're going to do is get all of these people killed, all right? He needs to, like, talk to him out somewhere else, doesn't he? Is that your wife, Woodhull? And your son? Yes, it yes. is, yeah. It's very fine to meet you, Mrs. Woodhull. I seem to remember your husband as a much quieter man. <laughs> That's right, this is like basically the first time they've seen each other all season, isn't it? Where the bloody hell is Floyd? Are you sure we need him? Oh, I want Hewlett to turn around and punch Simcoe. I would love it if he did. We have the high ground, sir, and they fail to achieve their objective with their opening thrust. To simply wait when it's within our power to I will determine them. the strategy here, Captain Simcoe. <gasps> we'll right okay, okay. It's them. Oh, fuck. They're just going to leave that guy there. Just leave that guy in the open. And... They're shooting up the fucking church. They that sow wickedness reap the same. Indeed, Reverend. No, 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 no. What the f... Don't do this. Sit down before you fall down. It, I, I get what they're doing. I get what he's doing. If we take the church, then we can use their cannons to defend against the next one. Oh, baby Hewlett Thomas. never surrender to you. And Simcoe will shoot down any Continental who approaches the church. He will. And then he will kill your father and your uncle. Well, maybe we use his men to shield us. No, no, don't you... F don't, no, not Baker. The Major is a fair man. He will respect he would do. the flag of truce. He would do, yes. Absolutely, he would. That means your father's there as well, Abe. Whatever happens to mine happens to yours, which makes you the perfect man to deliver our terms. Good point. It's a good point. No. Don't worry, Mama. All right, we need your husband to send a message. We're not going to hurt him. Not much, anyway. But she's seen Caleb's name in the book, so she's got to believe that. She's got to believe that, right? She knows that they're not going to hurt him. What the hell is this? Shh, you want them to hear us up there? Hey, we couldn't send warning. There was no time. It was only by God's good grace that we came across Walter Havens. Oh, fuck me. There were no hangings. What? Not till you showed up. No, I there was wasn't. Hewlett to commute their sentences. They were bound instead for the jersey. Ah, oh, because then in a death sentence, is it? Apparently it's not. No, it's not. We stood on the deck of that ship and had the warden tell me that Zeta yep. died there over Christmas. Yeah. I have lived with that belief since last we were in New York spying for you. Surely you had time enough to warn me that my husband but was alive. But you fucking didn't. Didn't bother. They're both rightfully pissed off at you. The truth is, your husband is alive because my brother is dead. Robert Rogers used the promise of Samuel Fucking as horrible. bait to trap me. They've all got stake in this from family. It's horrible. The Jersey is a death sentence and I will not see my father sent there. So... What do you fucking do? So this raid is family business. For all of you! You're saying you wouldn't do the same? No, no, I'm just saying it makes sense as all. Well. More sense than Washington sending you both here anyway. Yeah, he granted me discretion to advance my mission as I but see But this isn't where he sent you. Explain it all to him. Please inform 711 that his precious Mr. Culpepper is finished. I am out. No, nobody is out. Your standing in this town is intact, and I intend to keep it down. Well, he doesn't want to do it anymore. No, he don't want to do it anymore, and I don't blame him. My standing in this town is all you've got left. And you need him. And you know there's no chance that you take that church before some force in this island shows up. Exactly. So what the fuck are you going to do? 
We ain't leaving without our family. All right. Understandable. Well, then I guess this is such. Oh, I like it, eh? But this one, I like it. But it's conflict on both sides. Like I, they've all got family stakes in this. But he is the right person because one, they could talk, and Mary knew that. Oh God, that's horrible that the body's facing him as he walks past. That's horrible. But oh fuck, at least his dad's gonna see he's okay. Hewlett won't let them shoot. Hewlett won't. I'm dreading what Simcoe's gonna fucking do because he is not listening. Less than 100, I tried to take a silent count, but they caught me looking. I knew their numbers were exaggerated. They still you. number us. They don't request your... Good, immediate... because I'd hate to become the first commander to let the Patriots get a foothold on Long Island. They don't ask for surrender, sir. They ask for the prisoners. Eight civilians in exchange for conceding the field. When they have the numbers, I can't decide whether they think themselves cowards or us fools. Shut the fuck up, Simcoe. What do you know of sickness, Woodall? Quiet, Lucas, if you know what's good for you. And this Major Talmadge here has Be given careful. his life that he withdraw following the exchange. The word of a traitor means nothing. Simcoe, shut your fucking face. Be quiet to yield is to show weakness. I will yield nothing that I do not wish to yield. He doesn't care about rank. Give him cannon and musket, full on! What the fuck is he doing? Captain, bring him back at once! No, 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 no! Shoot him. Caleb. <laughs> Caleb. Calm down. Come on. Caleb. Okay. Lay that to rest, Captain Simcoe. Damn fucking right. <laughs> Suck him. You stick the in direct orders. Fucking shoot him, please. You deserve what's coming to you, Oyster Major. <laughs> That's what they call you now. Commander of the army's back. Knock him out, please, Hewlett. I bet that feels good for Abe to see, but fair play, Hewlett, for doing that. Hewlett was being on as honourable as he fucking could be. We're in a fight to the death now. Not he knows he's got no go. choice. The prisoners, now, all of them. Yeah, come on, you can do it. A release, unconditional, and immediate. And the good reverend will convince his son to withdraw. I see no honour in this fight going on. Only further bloodshed. Exactly. Good on... See, sometimes Dad... I always forget his name. He can, oh, he can sometimes do good things. He can. It wasn't me who took that shot at you. I know. Is that that little bit of res, res, nodded respect? See, respect. They're on opposite sides, but they could still show respect. I like that from Hewlett. I like Hewlett. Culper. What? Much better. Tell Washington it's Sammy Culper. I'm not showing the letters as anyone else. Culper's a lot better. Culpepper's a bit of a mouthful. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Caleb. I need a new bit of tissue. You did the right thing. You did, you did the right thing. What's that look for? What's he looking like that for? No, Hewlett, don't do it. You gave your word. You gave your word, you're an honorable man. Just in time, eh, Major? Just. Please, don't go against your word. Please don't go against your word, Hewlett, please. Let me look at you. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad his dad's okay. I'm so glad. Oh, Caleb. <laughs> I'm so glad he's got his dad. She don't want to leave, obviously, because she loves Abe. Fuck, fuck. Don't shoot. She. Oh, no, they're going to fucking shoot. Don't, don't. Don't shoot! The cause needs me here. Anna? No! Don't hit her! They just said that they, t they 
they took her reluctantly. She did. Down there. She's trying to escape them. Go exactly. Down. Pretend like that. Pretend she's trying to escape. Thank you, Hewlett. Thank you. I like Hewlett. He's being a decent man. Oh, Sela. Oh, he's got me heartbroken. Like, he probably guesses why. Don't make it so fucking obvious you want to kiss each other. I thought that was the ending then. I've lost track. Okay, New York. Hey, John Andre. Missed him. That especially when it is misused. Uh huh. Oh. You are familiar with the science of Sir Isaac Newton. Oh dear. He's in trouble. Best of luck with that. You may need a drink after we're done. In other words, you're in the fucking shit, oh, mate. I'm sorry I didn't come when I was summoned. You're in trouble. Benedict Arnold. Cut off half our regiment. Yeah, Benedict Arnold. That's a name I do know. Ish. For every action, there is an equal yep. and opposite reaction or consequence, if you prefer. Uh huh. Inspector General Inners has granted me full authority to overhaul our provincial forces. Ooh, very nice. Quote a disorderly and destructive banditti. In other words, you're fucked, mate. I see about no prisoner exchanges. Uh, hey, lads, I like they got me. people. They're ready, just they knew he's probably going to react badly, so they're, they're ready and waiting. I don't blame them. He's got her backup. Tell me how to go about my business. Oh dear. That shouldn't be a problem anymore. The Queen's Rangers will be put under another's command. In other words, you're fucked, bud. I am the Queen's Rangers, and those boys won't follow anyone else. Those boys are mercenaries, they follow coin. Okay, you, like I like John Andre. He's nice, but you don't want to mess with him. I can tell that. And he knows they're waiting now. In other words, you're if you're fucked, bud. <laughs> and yeah, I like that little smirk. I get you the meaning. In other words, uh, fuck off. Causes. And he's basically gonna say. He's, oh, he's going to take his revenge at some point, isn't he? Oh, he nicked his fucking glass. Cheeky shit. They have ways of turning into new causes if you're not careful. What okay. goes up must come down. Okay, I'm worried. <laughs> I do like Robert Rogers, though, but he's scary, especially with that kind of chuckle. But John Andre knew what he was doing there, and he knows to be wear wary of him, and he's got to know there's going to be a... He's going to try and seek revenge because he's that kind of person. Are you all right? I'm tired. Yeah. Well, I can't imagine why. <laughs> We've got to talk with each other. Where's Thomas? Is he reading the book? She knows, bud. Does she burn it? You are a traitor and an adulterer and a spy for Washington. If I had known that you were going to bring your patriot friends here to attack our town, I would have taken that. You do that. Crazy. Damn it, Mary. I didn't know that Talmadge was coming here. He didn't warn me. Oh, no. Just my luck, I suppose. Oh, no. Always walking in when I'm not wanted. Baker, no. Step away, Mary. No. Please don't. Don't. No, I am. No, we don't. You don't. You don't. Baker, no. I will run away from here. I will. I won't return. Baker, no. You may be a treasonous, Mr. Woodhull. Baker, no. You can tell he doesn't want to. No. Some of them went to the boats, but not all of them. Some of them came through the farms on their way out. And St. Baker saw them. He tried to stop them. They shot him. Mary! They shot him! 
and then they burned down the house of the judge's son. He's covering for you. As Providence would have it, they were able to move into Whitehall, just as they always should have. I know oh. how to clean up a mess. She, she can tell that he did not want to do that. He really didn't. Are you going to go and get Thomas? You Me scared him with that shot of yours. Thomas. Go get him, please. Oh, he did not want... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Fucking hell. I like her so much. I do like her. She didn't want him. She knew that he didn't want to do that because he was crying over Baker. <laughs> oh, Baker. I really liked him. This one night. <laughs> but now Mary knows. Oh, he did. Baker was a good man. Okay, he was on the British side, but he was a good man. Fuck, that went up quickly. But then again, it's all wood. Fucking hell, he's going to be an absolute mess now. And everybody's. Hopefully, people beat us. Of course, that's how they end the season. Shit. Fuck, I forgot. Forgot that I unplugged my mouse. Baker! See, man, I need to take my glasses off. Oh, my lord. I, I really like Baker. Oh, my God. I really liked him. He was so nice and he was honourable and he cared about them. And, like, he... Yeah, okay, he was on the British side. It's because of his honour that he felt like he had to do his duty. But I don't... I get why he was going to do what he was going to do. I get it. I don't like it, but... I get it. And Abe... De like, I think Mary could see that Abe didn't want to do it because the way he rushed over to him and... He was Jesus! I'm in a fucking mess and... Oh, it's ten past midnight. You guys aren't going to probably see this for like, God, March, probably, or something like that. I don't know when you guys are seeing this. I don't know. Because I don't know when in January I'm going to be starting this. But um, it's now officially Christmas Day. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Belated for you. Sorry, but it doesn't cry. My nose is now fucking going. Jesus. I'm so glad I got tissues. There. Good idea for me because I cry easily. Sorry if you hear me sniffing now. I'm going to be sniffing like fucking crazy now. Wow, this fucking show. This show. What? I, I am uh, her. That. Sh oh. This show is incredible. It is like. It's up. It's one. It's one of my three favorite shows of all time. Easily. It quick, very quickly went up right up there. It's phenomenal. It's. I've said it since the beginning. This is not my usual show I would watch. A historical like drama as well like re based stuff and speak this kind of thing i don't really watch but i'm so fucking glad my friends recommended it to me i am so glad oh god i'm a fucking mess <laughs> i am so glad they recommended it to me because again it's one of my three favorite shows of all time our flag means death is top, and then it's good omens and this. Like I and I love and adore good omens, but this quite could could quite possibly go above that. Like this, this is this. Oh my god, it's incredible! Like every single aspect of this show is phenomenal. Like the acting is incredible, the writing is incredible. The direction, the editing, the music, just the cinematography, the colour grading, the use of colour, and just the like the little bit, just the little bits like the um was it Moses Payne? I'm only looking because he was he's in the featured like guest in guest ones. 
where his body was like basically turning as if it was watching Abe. Brilliant touch. Uh, these thoughts are going to be really random because I'm getting little bits just popping into my head. Sela. The poor fucking guy. The poor guy is why, like, he can't, can't have guessed. He could see why. Because Abe and Anna, they didn't really fucking hide it, did they? That they have, like, okay, he was like, couldn't pretend like he was consoled, like, comforting her being captured by them and yada, yada, yada. Sela made her go, that kind of thing. Poor fucking Sela. Like, he could tell. Oh my God. Oh, Caleb. Yes, Ben's got his dad, and that's amazing. I'm so happy, but. Caleb's uncle, the poor, that poor old guy did nothing. Yeah, okay, he's traitor to the crown and all that, but he was fucking harmless. What could he do? I'm, I like Hewlett even fucking more right now. He's like, he could have like said, right, we've got backup now. Fuck it, we can take him. We can easily take him. And yeah, they went to the edge of the water. They were about to, but he stopped them. He did stop them and was like, no. But I feel like, was he going to go against them though? I couldn't tell like whether like the other guy was like, right, we're fucking going anyway. So I can't remember that guy's rank. So maybe he was like, we're going anyway. I don't have to listen to you. They might have both been majors. I cannot remember. So maybe they both went. And like he could do anything, but he could tell them to stop because like he was being reasonable. Like you, the woman's trying to escape. Don't shoot her, woman trying to get back to shore. Come on, be decent men, or as decent as you can be, considering you're the red coats. But oh god, I wanted him to. I just wanted him to shoot Simcoe then and there. My god, like Simcoe doesn't seem to give a shit about rank or anything, does he? He doesn't care. He's only a fucking captain here. He should. He doesn't care about the fact that your major, your commander, is telling you no. He didn't care. He like, he should be stripped of his fucking rank and court-martialed or whatever because he went against direct order, killed a fucking hostage, or a fucking prisoner that they were going to exchange. Like he's lucky they weren't all killed. To be honest, he should have been fucking hanged. He should have. He re he, look, he risked so many fucking lives doing that because he wanted his war. He wanted battle. He wanted bloodshed. He's bloodthirsty. He just wants... Oh, God, I hate him. But great character, but I fucking hate him. And the actor is phenomenal. He's so good. But I've hated him since the beginning. You know, like in he like in the terms of like the white, black, good, bad type gray area type thing. He's completely black in terms of bad. As that kind of analogy, because like, yes, Hewlett is British. He's commanding officer. He he's the one that with the gravestones, but he's still in the gray area because he's honourable. He's good. Him and Ben bowed to each other. He kept up his word. He wanted to treat them as nicely as prisoners as good as possible well as reasonably as possible compared to Simcoe but then again that's not much or that's not that difficult is it but he was rel he's relatively reasonable he's honourable and I like him and it is partly due to what one the fucking amazing writing but Byrne's performance is fantastic the performances by everybody in this show are insane I'm going to cry again. Baker. Mary's performance, fantastic. I don't know the actress's name. But I don't blame her for burning the book. I don't blame her. She thinks her... From what she could tell, it's, it, I completely don't blame her for thinking that he brought Ben there. I don't blame her for thinking that. All the evidence pointed to that for her. And I don't blame her for burning it because she wants to keep her family safe. So she's like burning it. It's like, no. But... Baker, and then she knew how to cover it up. So she's like, she's covered up for her husband. I like Mary. I don't blame her for anything she's done. I don't. Fucking all the stuff she's been put through is. I don't blame her whatsoever. She's like, not my favorite character, but I like her. 
and I don't blame her. And I feel like she will cover for A because it's her husband. And if they find out she knows, me, she's got to protect her little baby boy. He's the most adorable little thing I've ever seen, apart from my daughter and my ne my nephews, obviously, obviously. <laughs> but um, he's so cute. And, oh my god, Abe! Like he didn't want to do that. He didn't. Baker didn't want to do that. He was doing it because it was his duty. Because like all the way through, you've seen that he does care about this family. Yeah, okay, he cares about Mary and Thomas more because of what he caught Abe and Anna doing. But he didn't want to do that. He didn't. Fucking Abe, like, conflict. He's, all the stuff he's had to go through, the conflict he's had to go through. This show is insane. It's phenomenal. And I, oh my Lord. I just wish I had all four seasons on DVD. I've only got season one, so from here on out, it's going to have to be on Amazon Prime. Because I did buy all of them on Amazon Prime, including the one I've got on DVD. But yeah, I'm watching it on Amazon Prime from now on, which I don't mind because it's fucking amazing. But this, oh Jesus, this is going to be insane. It's going to be insane what's going to come next. Like, I wish, like, I hope there's not a time jump. Do not tell me if there is. I, why am I saying that? I'm going to be, I'm so far ahead of what you guys are watch, watching right now. I probably fin like I could be like finish the whole show by done. You guys see this? I don't know. At the rate I'm going, I probably will. But like, I just in case, I don't want to know. Just in case there's some whatever delays, and also in case anybody's watching this at the same speed I am, try not to spoil what comes next. But I hope there's not a time drop because I wanted to see people running down to see what the hell's going on and be like, oh my God, what, 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 and then having to maybe not say anything, but just to see people running over the hill, you know. Like, I want to see the immediate fallout of people realising, oh, my God, your home, what the hell happened, type thing, you know? And poor fucking Baker. I'm really sad now. What a way to start Christmas Day. i got to go to sleep after this. Like, my brain... Oh. That... I feel emotionally drained. I haven't even started Christmas Day yet. That was incredible. Oh my god, what's season two gonna hold? I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm gonna watch I'm gonna start watching season two this week when I can. Whenever I can, I'm watching it because oh, that was insane. That was fantastic. Hell of an emotional ride. My anxiety was going all over the place. I didn't know who was safe. I didn't know who was gonna survive. Like anybody could die. Anybody could die, because they're in war. I don't know the history, because again, as I've always said, we weren't taught this at school, because we were the losing side. But um, I don't know, like anybody could die any time. Like, I kind of, I think if anybody's going to survive, at least to the final season, it's going to be Abe, simply because I just, I've seen a promotional picture, because like when I've like, I've started trying to gather like logos and images for the, thumbnails and things like that i've seen more with abe on like abe seems to be the central figure in like all the, the promotional images i've not seen what seasons there are on these images or whatever like that but i've seen him on more so i feel like he's gonna be in it all the way through maybe again do not post about how long he lasts in the credit in the credits in the comments in case people are watching at the same speed i'm releasing these okay holy moly that was insanely good that was phenomenal emotional i'm gonna have to take a little bit now before i go to sleep because otherwise i'm gonna be dreaming or having a nightmare of seeing baker being shot and ate and caleb's uncle poor fucking caleb i wanted to hug him so bad and that poor guy i if i could turn back time if i could write that if I could write that, fuck the history, I would have had Hewlett shoot Simcoe then and there. I would have had him march out so that the, that the opposition can see, like have him shout, we did not condone this, bang, type thing, you know? Like, we're going to shoot the guy who shot your person, we did not, I did not approve this, you know? That's how I would have done it, just because I fucking hate Simcoe. But he's a brilliant villain. It's probably going to go all the way through. And then, oh my God, we haven't even touched on the John Andre stuff. 
He knew that Robert Rogers was going to co- possibly cause hassle. He's fucking clever. We had those men waiting. They just turned the things like, ah, I feel like that man who had his handle on his hand on the door on the handle could hear. He was like, right, I'm just going to turn it slightly so he can hear it. They're like, that's my threat. That's like where people are like walking, like have a gun on somebody's back, and they're like, you want to try me, and then just push it slightly to remind them they're there, or let them know they're there, kind of thing, you know, that kind of thing. I liked it, and I love John Andre's smirk, like that little smirk going. Try it because he's not. I. He seems really fucking clever because, like, yeah, he's been he's a really nice guy considering he's on that side, and he's like really nice, like with Abigail and stuff like. That. But we haven't seen much. But um, I feel like he's somebody also that you do not want to piss off because the way he was talking to Robert Rogers then and the way he looked, it's like, yeah, you're scary. If anything, John Andre could be scarier, I think, because he's got that silent, even tone. It's like, I'm not going to get angry about this. And like, I'm going to take fucking revenge. You do not want to fucking cross me type thing. Like the silent, like dead even not showing a, a reaction to it, not getting angry. That's scarier to me. I think that's more scarier. That's more menacing. So I don't think he's going to underestimate him. He knows he's going to get retaliation from him. But it doesn't mean that Robert Rogers might not be able to get close to him. Like, I don't want him to kill him. But I don't. I literally don't know who's going to survive into when. I don't have a clue. Like, I know, like, obviously George Washington. And Benedict Arnold, we haven't seen yet. We haven't met yet. But I um, I know about him-ish. I won't say, just in case people don't. And I don't want to say anything, just in case I am wrong on some things. But I know about his part, in, but kind of his part in things, if you know what I mean. If you know, you know. But yeah, there's... Not many people I know from this, which is, makes me fear for everyone, you know. Like, anybody could die at any point. Because it's war. People can get shot and die out. They don't have the medicine we got nowadays, you know. That was amazing. That was insanely good. It was phenomenal. And I can't believe I finished the first season. I, I'm... So I'm just like mind blown. I want to talk more. I want to talk loads. But I'm like comprehending it and processing it in my brain. And I'm also fucking tired. And I'm actually quite warm in here. Even though I've got fat, my desk fan on, the desk fan's now blowing hot air around. Or not hot air, it's just blowing the room temp, like the warm room temperature air. So like I can't, I can feel air moving if I put my hand in front of it. That's it. So I'm going to wrap this up before I sweat, start sweating because it's warm. But yeah, that was interesting. I'd love to know your thoughts on this episode and stuff like that in the comments. And yeah, I'd love to know what you thought. If you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you again for the next one. Bye.